Joining us right now is Matt Bellany. He is Puck's founding partner, uh, runs a newsletter, which he knows I read uh, quite religiously. Um, Matt, this is really the first time we heard uh, Bob Iger speak publicly about Hulu and, frankly, actually quite directly. Um, and it seems, at least from my vantage point, and I think from your vantage point, from what I'm reading your writing, that you think he is uh, he's a seller at this point. Yeah, I, it's not just that Iger says that everything's on the table there. It's the second part. It's the fact that he's looking closely at this, quote, undifferentiated general content. And that is a big shift there because Disney has spent the past four or five years building up its non-branded, non-IP-driven, adult-oriented content on Hulu and even a little bit on Disney+, Plus, putting Dance with the Stars there and things like that. And what Iger is saying here is that he's questioning that entire proposition. In an era where people are cutting back on content, right. he's thinking perhaps Disney should be going back to its core of the more genre and IP-driven stuff. But why wouldn't, if you are like trying to rationalize, why wouldn't you see the benefit of putting it with something else uh, since it may, might not be stand? It seems like that might be a better time to, to get it on the cheap from confidence. Is there a number that Comcast could get from Disney that would make sense to bring it in and do it, put Peacock together and rationalize all those op operations? It seems like it's, it's going to have to be rolled into something else. It, it, does it seem standalone at this point, Matt? Well, that's the big question, because as we know, Disney has until 2024 where there's this going to be this option to sell. Mm -hmm. And what what they've done is they've really built up the value of Hulu to the point where it would probably cost Disney about $9 billion or more to buy out that third that Comcast owns. So Iger is he's either doing this because he thinks that putting it on the table like this will right. generate more bidders, perhaps, for this stake, um, or he's thinking perhaps this will lower the price right, if he's right, then going right, right, to go to Comcast. Right, right, right. We don't really need Matt, this. do you think this, this comes, lower, though, right. with content or not? And then is this, um, you know, how do you think about the, the Fox transaction? The reason I ask is hmm. some people think a sale, if you were to sell Hulu, you sell it as a shell, meaning literally just as a, in the distribution sort of pipe with all the, the subscribers. You merge it with a Peacock or a Paramount or whatever you want to merge it with. And, and but it's, it doesn't come with content, maybe a license deal on some of the current content for a couple of years. Or do you think if he were to sell it, it comes with all what he might have even just described as undifferentiated content? Well, that's going to be very difficult to kind of separate out the content that would or would not apply to the adult or Fox oriented content, because some of the content is great. The Simpsons, they love that on Disney Plus. It's a perennial winner. Avatar, they love that. But there's some of the other stuff, perhaps FX and things like that, that may go along with it. But, you know, any buyer of Hulu is probably going to want a commitment to content for a certain period. What the question is, how much can they claw back and how long would those deals be in order for them to fully get rid of it as a shell? I'm and stuck. that I don't think Iger even knows. I mean, they're working with Goldman Sachs on this to kind of figure out what the optionality is for Hulu.